What is going on everybody? It's your boy Nothing My Skills and in today's video I am going to be showing you guys how to beat a behemoth. Yes, these bad boys can destroy you pretty quick and if you're not careful and you don't know how to beat them, they will kill you over and over again. So in this video, I'll show you some tips and tricks that hopefully you don't end up like I just did right here. So let's get into it. So I want to say the first behemoth I ever beat, the one that you're seeing right here was 160. I want to say he was a level 160 behemoth and I was only, I think my total um, gear score was 30, around 30. So a pretty big difference, right? And these things are hard to kill, but there are some tips and tricks that you guys can do to beat these. The first thing is keeping a distance from them using a sniper rifle. So using your sniper rifle, keeping a distance is your first tip. You want to do this because you can maneuver around and when he's targeting you with his missiles you're able to easily move around now the behemoth has three weak points he has the one in the front he has two on the side and these weak points are covered by little panels now once you destroy the panels depending on what your level is you'll see that it lights up blue so right there the panel is destroyed so now i am trying to destroy that weak point, which I'm assuming is a battery or some type of power source that lets him maneuver, right? But he has three of these, so you have to consistently hit these, and depending on your level, might take a couple shots. You can see me being only a level 30 and him being a 160, there was a big gap, so it was hard for me to destroy those panels and then destroy it. So I was able to destroy one of those weak points, and now I have to work on the one on the left and the right. Now remember, the closer you are to gear score or to level to your enemy, the easier it is to destroy them. Your weapons hit harder and you can upgrade these weapons and give them more damage if you have Mark 1, Mark 2. So that's just something you want to pay attention to is when you are going after these behemoths, if you want a little bit more of a challenge, then try it when you're a lower level. See how well you can destroy these things. Now, if you want to do it a little bit, have a little bit of an easier time, then of course, wait till you're a higher level and then go fight one that's around the same level as you. There are a bunch of these throughout the map and they will have different levels, different gear scores. So that is something for you to work on. If you're looking right now, if you're watching this gameplay, I'm almost done with the left side. I broke the panel. So now I'm just trying to hit it a couple more times. So that way I can work on the right side. Sometimes I have to switch back and forth because of the angle. And if you are using a sniper rifle, something like the 50 cal, that's probably gonna be your best bet. Now, once he visually detects you, that's when he can start firing at you his regular gun. So he can use his, his machine gun on you. And those things hurt. Those aren't like the missiles that you can dodge. He will auto fire on you and pretty much drop you in a couple hits. So you have to be really careful. That's why I say distance is key using a sniper rifle if you have it. One thing that happened to me a lot though, I'm gonna tell you the truth, is I started to run out of ammo. And the reason being is because I was such a low level. So if you're trying to do this like me at a low level, trying to beat this behemoth, you will have some issue with ammo because of the amount of damage you can do on them. So sometimes you need to swap between weapons. So I'll use my sniper rifle first, I'll use an AR, and then what I'll do is I'll go back into my inventory and pick another weapon with a different caliber. As long as it's a weapon with a different caliber, you can continue to fire. So if you have ARs that are using different caliber bullets, then most likely you'll still have ammo in your backpack for that weapon. If you notice here, finally the left side weak point is open. So now I just have to try to get a good shot on it. He's been hitting me pretty hard with that machine gun. And as you notice, you're able to pretty much outrun where those missiles land. Right here, I wanna conserve a little bit of the sniper ammo I have, so I'm gonna start using my AR and then see if I can hit those weak points and destroy it without having to waste any more sniper rifle. So that's something that you might have to do. Um, save the sniper bullets for when you can get some better shots on it. Like right here, I was able to get some clean shots on it. But if you're noticing you're getting shot because it's taking a little bit longer for you to ADS and get that perfect shot I would recommend switching back and forth and you'll see in this gameplay right here I start going back I have I'm really low on sniper bullets so that's why I'm trying to be a little careful on how I'm using those 
So right now I'm just gonna try to put straight damage on him. You can do damage on him, but remember those weak points really get him weak really fast. And his health is about, we're gonna say a little bit less than half. So we're almost there. We just have to take our time, take it nice and easy. And now I am trying to, I have like two shots on that and it should blow. That's the only hard part about doing this at such a low level was the amount of damage that my weapon did towards this behemoth was a pain. But I was able to do it. You'll see in just a second where we're close. So I'm just trying to hit those panels wide. There you go. So as soon as you break one of those um, battery packs or weak points, he will stop moving. And that's when you can start working on the second panel. And then look, I was able to destroy the second one really quick so that was a good thing right there so now all the weak points are done and he's almost finished now it's straight damage we just got to put some damage on him just take your time really um focus on putting as much damage on him as you can if you can hit his center if you notice there's like a little fusion box kind of in the middle of him that's probably where i would aim um his core right the, his center core that, that's where you were aim you'll, you'll see it's kind of lit up but take your time, enjoy yourself, and remember, this boss, pretty easy to do, but patience is key, distance is key, and taking advantage of your sniper rifle. The higher the level, the closer you are to that behemoth, the easier it will be to kill him. But we're close. As you notice, parts of his armor, parts of his panels are still flying off, meaning that we're destroying them more and more, and before you know it, he should drop down. He's got about a quarter of a way left. If you notice, look at my ammo count. I'm out of sniper rifle. I'm out of AR ammo. Well, the M4 that I was using. And I have one bullet left in my sniper rifle. I'm done with my sniper rifle. And now I have my Desert Eagle. So what I'm going to need to do right now is swap to another AR or another weapon that's using a different caliber ammo, right? So a different caliber ammo, I will have ammo left in my bag. If not, you just have to give up and leave so i swapped out to an mp5 so i have a couple rounds left in this one so i'm just going to keep unloading remember at this point he is going to be unloading on you everything he has he's weak so he starts spamming you with missiles he starts shooting you with the machine gun if you pop your head out too much or just remember keep moving keep your distance and you'll be fine now i'm gonna end up swapping out to my third weapon so i went from the m4a1 i used all the ammo on that i used my sniper rifle which you guys saw at the very beginning i swapped to an mp5 and then now i have to swap to another weapon and i go with the ak so the aka has a different round caliber and you can see what caliber each weapon uses so i'm gonna end up putting on this ak-47 and look it has some ammo so I have 150 bullets, well 180 because 30 are in the current magazine. And then I just have to keep blasting them and there you go. I finished my first behemoth. Yes, this was my first behemoth and it's that simple. Don't, don't think I did it on my first try. I died probably like four or five times trying to figure out a good method for me to be able to do it at such a low level because I was only around, I, I wanna say 30, 40 maybe um, gear score. And you get some pretty cool, you get some pretty cool rewards for beating a behemoth. But not only that, they're usually guarding. They're usually guarding some crates. Sometimes you'll get weapon attachments. Sometimes you get a new weapon, new gear. But that is why a lot of times you want to go look for where these behemoths are because they are guarding those military crates. And I'll show you where those military crates are on this boss right here. So there is this tower right here that had the scale logo on it. And if we go down, there's going to be one military crate right here. And then if we went up the stairs, there was another military crate. So I didn't show you that second one, but above us, there was another military crate. But that's where we're going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to check out my um, Breakpoint playlist. I do have a Ghost Recon Breakpoint playlist. And the Breakpoint playlist is for you guys, man. For you guys to enjoy, for you guys to get tips and tricks from. I am doing a walkthrough with my role play voice of Grey Wolf. So if you guys want to check out that one, it's a pretty funny one. I try to make it entertaining and fun at the same time. So if you don't want any spoilers, you might want to watch it after you play the game. If you really don't, if you're not really worried about all that, then you'll probably have a lot of fun watching the game and enjoying the game with me. 
We'll wrap it up here. Thank you guys again. Leave a thumbs up. And as always, until the next Ghost Recon Breakpoint video, nothing but skills is out.